quick little unboxing video of my new Ego 21 inch cordless mower. Let's get this box open and see what we got. All right, let's open this up. Got some nice recycled packaging material, that's good. Always like that. Here's our battery. Box in a box for the box. So this, is that. this is your charger. More marketing material. Exceeds the power of gas. I already bought it. You don't need to market me. All right, that's the inside of the uh, of the basket. And here's the basket. We'll assemble that to a little later. Ooh, look at that! Nice, shiny. <laughs> where the battery will go eventually. All right, this thing, I believe, is something that you can lift out. More of this recycled packaging material. I always like to see repurposed card cardboard. It's a good thing. All right, and that's it, everything's out. Not a really heavy device. Um, I don't know if you notice here, it has these little stoppers because it's intended to be able to be stored vertically instead of take up all the garage space. Um, so in order to do that, you would just stand it upright. Just like that. That's, that's the footprint that it will take in the, in the garage. Here's a good opportunity to look at uh, the underside and examine the blade. The electric, electric motor has to cool itself, so it's got a little fan on the inside. But the lawnmower itself needs to be able to pull the blades of grass upright, so it has a little fans on the outside. That's what these are for. The, uh, the blade looks nice and sharp. Obviously brand new, right? 21 inch. 21 inch blade. All right, so picking up where we left off. So in the horizontal mode, they just have a little thing here for changing the adjustment of how you want it. A single connector, that's cool. I have a single little thing here for adjusting the height. Currently it's, oops, single little adjuster for adjusting the height. Pull it out. Oh my gosh, look how easy that is. It just rises up or goes down. My wife and I are going to be fighting over the grass height, that's for sure. It's that easy to change. Nice manuals on how to how to maintain your uh, your vehicle and how to how to make it do what it does. We'll have to go through that soon enough. Let's go ahead and uh, take off some of this other wrapping and uh, see where we can go with this. All right, so. The, uh, the bag goes onto the little frame really easy. You can see the only tricky part here is to know which side's up. And I think if you look at the words, it's pretty simple. This fits right in there and these little plastic flangey deals goes right over the top of, uh, of the wire. You can see just like that, they just go clip and on, on you go. Um, currently in mulch mode, uh, the, the grass has nowhere to go so it just mulches it up. Um, if you wanted to put this uh, this handy dandy um, bag on there. All I need to do is lift this up right here and then slide the bag in right into those little hooks. The little hook goes in right at there. Another one over here. And you close the bag. And you see that it's that bag, that little thing connects and uh, Closes it up really nice, so there's no uh, 
no blow by or anything. It's a good, good clean seal there. Now, if you wanted to run windrows, you open this baby up, you pull the bag off, and it comes with this nifty dealy. This this little dealy bobber right here, and it, it, instead of having like you would normally have uh, on the side of the lawnmower a little chute that you'd put on or off, this this keeps all of the uh, the output coming off the back here. So this would go right into see that there's like a the hook right down there. That thing slides right down in there. Oops. Ah. Maybe I should read the instructions. There we go. And that goes in right there. And you can see that if you're going to run windrows, it'll come out the backside right here. And again, you have a good seal. And uh, you get all the, uh, everything will come off the side right there. Okay, so now we're looking at the, uh, the 6 amp hour, 56 volt battery. Um, they, they come in a lot of different amp hours. This one I think is good for our yard. We have about a third of an acre. Um, and uh, that's why we bought this particular unit. Ta-da! There it is, the beast. Not incredibly heavy, but it's pretty obvious how it's going to slide in there. Obviously, there's those four slots right there. And there's four or three slots that fit in right here. So you just drop that baby in there. Um, I'm gonna before I do that, I'm gonna read the manual um, and make sure that this uh, needs to be charged. It probably needs to be charged before we put it in. I want to extend the battery life, so we don't want to run it until it's perfectly charged. Um, and then uh, then we'll take it out and give it a good mow. All right, well, here's the results of the first mow. This is about 2,600 square feet. It's uh, 76 by roughly 35, kind of rough edges, but uh, you get the idea. Um, 2,600 square feet used one-fifth of the 6 amp hour battery. Um, and uh, there's not a whole lot of incline or grade on here. Now the thing that uh, we didn't point out in the, in the unboxing is this is not a self-propelled lawnmower. It's just a push mower. Um, so there's some advantages and disadvantages. Obviously if you have hills like this on your property, you are probably used to just powering over those with a self-propelled lawnmower. With a push mower, you just have to be a little more creative with uh, the contour and the path that you take so that you're not pushing uphill directly. Uh, so if you're smarter than the lawnmower, you can save a little bit of money and save some battery power. Let's get to the backyard now. I'll, I'll mow in real time uh, a 3,000 square foot area. All right, so this section of my yard is uh, three, about 3,000 square feet. It's the biggest individual patch of grass that I have under a big old pecan tree. Um, rained a little bit, so the grass is a little wet, so that's, that will affect conditions as well. Uh, but that was yesterday, and I'm hoping it's dried out enough. The ground itself isn't soggy. Um, but uh, we're gonna go ahead and mow this. It's, uh, it's got about two weeks worth of growth on it. I don't know if you can see how thick that is, because uh, it's been raining so much lately. I haven't been able to mow it, and I just didn't have a lawnmower until now. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and, and knock this down. Uh, and I'm gonna catalog before how much battery that there is before we start it. Um, and, then, uh, and then we'll let you see how much battery is left afterwards. All right, here's my, uh, my Ego 21 inch power mower. Um, the thing about this is, you know, there's a lot of different places where you can save some money on one of these. You don't wanna save it on the, on the battery so much and you don't wanna save it on the width of the, uh, the cutting area. This is a 21 inch um, cutting area. Uh, so it, it reduces, it, you know, it, the, the need to go back and forth and reduce the work. But what we did save some money is, you can see, there's no mechanism for it being a drive. It's just a push mower. It's not a self-propelled mower. Uh, we're gonna run this at, um, Setting number four. Hopefully the dog will get out of the way. Hey you. 
um, and I'll put you on there. So let, let's catalog where the battery power is right now. I'm going to turn this on. And you can see, well, turn the button. When the battery goes on, you can see it's got that much. Now that's after mowing the front yard. And we'll see how much we can get out of the backyard. All right, let's let, let her rip. Hey, you. All right, so the trick here is not to go up and down the, the height, but to go back and forth so that you don't have to do so much work. And, you know, there's a lot of nice shade in there, so that'll be nice, too. I'm going to get started on the top up here, and then we'll go down through the bottom, and uh, uh, I'll, I'll show you how to avoid some of those, uh, the disadvantages of not having a power mower. turn around within two of its um, uh, paths. So if you make two paths for clearance, you don't have to worry about uh, you know, dealing with the really small clearance. battery left after doing 6,000 square feet. And I don't feel like I'm going to go deaf. Let me just show you the battery life on this thing. Push the little button. There you go. Still got three-fifths left. So that is my Ego Power Plus 56 volt battery uh, 21 inch mower. Uh, I gotta tell you, I am not disappointed. It's not heavy, doesn't take a lot of work. Um, it's quiet, it's powerful. It went right through this in a mulch mode. And look, it didn't really even leave windrows anywhere. Really clean mulching job. And if you get right down to it, you can't see any grass clippings. My old lawnmower used to leave windrows when you were in mulching mode. Um, I like that the, the edge of the mower is nice and clean and it's square. Makes it real easy to get along the edges so you have a lot less weed whipping to do after the fact. Uh, but other than that, um, really see it, really happy with the, uh, with the Ego Power Plus mower. And one of the biggest things that I like about it is that OPEC is out of my yard. Uh, and now I'm uh, mowing my lawn a little bit more ecologically friendly. <laughs> Not my first goal, but certainly like getting OPEC out of my yard. Right. So I just wanted to capture here 
how easily this thing mows right through really heavy, a uh, real heavy cut. Here's my hand for uh, for an example. We're, we're cutting down to the second or third knuckle. This is uh, position number four on the lawnmower, and uh, you can see if I put my hand in this grass, it's up to my wrist. So that's a uh, that's a good five inch maybe even six inches tall worth of grass and this thing is just plowing right through it like nothing so if you're interested in the horsepower this thing's got it, it here's a quick example of the difference in uh, the handle height of the legacy the legacy more basically was at waist level the ego power plus is at chest level. Makes it a lot easier to push if you're going up a hill. One of the other things is, you know, obviously, since it's not a, a power mower, you're going to do a lot of, uh, you know, lifting it to, to pivot. And if you were to compare what it takes to pivot this, and you, you even have to pivot the power mowers, they just go in one direction, you still have to raise them. I mean, I'm putting all my weight to get two fingers on this. There's no way that I can push this with one finger. But on this one, easily, you can lift it with one finger. So it's a lot less, it's a lot more effortless to to pivot this around and and, manu and maneuver it because it's a lot lighter mower. One of the big pluses that I'm really looking forward to with this lawnmower is how easy it is to stow it and how small the footprint is. So I just got done mowing the lawn. Normally I would have to wrangle it through this doorway back and forth, back and forth until I can get it into its little spot right there in front of the Volkswagen. But this one, all I need to do is open these up, slide this down, lock them back into position, flip this forward. You see, I'm doing this whole thing with one hand. That's the latch that into position. And then you can reach down here. And it stows upright. It's got little feet on the back. Look at that. I can walk in between everything. I got all this room back. My garage is no longer restricted by the, the equipment that I have in there. So I am really, really love that feature. Alright, so that's my review of the, uh, the Ego Power Plus. I'll put some information in here about uh, how, I, how I purchased it. Actually, I should go over that. So, I bought this at Ace Hardware. Uh, Ace Hardware has some really good deals out there right now. If you go uh, to Ace, acehardware.com, I'll put the, the link in the description. Um, and you do a search, you'll be able to find this one in particular. I'll put the actual details of this product in the description as well. Um, and so what I did was, uh, we bought this online for cheaper than you can buy in the store. And then if you, uh, you download their app and sign up for the Ace Hardware uh, members membership thing, uh, they'll take another 50 bucks off. So at least that's the deal when I bought it. I'll put some details for that in the description, and you'll get this down um, initially without uh, tax anyway, uh, at, or, at or around $400. It's, uh, it's a really great deal. So you can certainly spend over $1,000 on some of these, motor, these uh, lawnmowers, and I did not miss that it was not self-propelled. Uh, it's a light enough lawnmower, and it's powerful enough. It really doesn't need to be self-propelled. And you can see it still picked up some mud because it was wet from the rain last night, but because it was not self-propelled, it didn't dig any holes in the yard. Uh, so that's a good thing. It's all, it's all a plus, nothing but good. All right, there you go. That's all I got for you today. Cheers.